Hey, what is going on guys? I have got another video for you today, and today I'm going to be playing Demo Kaber with the Quick Fix Medic combo on Bad Water Defense. Now, this is kind of like a video which is going to cover a topic of Team Fortress 2, and it's kind of like jokey nature, and the main topic is, you know, do these kind of joke loadouts, are they viable, are they tactics that can work, and this video is going to kind of demonstrate it, if it is going to work or if it isn't, so... For this video, I um, found a, a misc item recently, which was the Tuxie, which is an all-class misc item. And as you know, I do donations every video, so I thought, you know, why not donate that? I don't need it, and I will give it away. So, 40 likes, comment, and be subscribed, and like the video, and that will give you a chance to win the misc item. So today, we're going to be playing, as I described before, with the Sticky Jumper, the Alibaba's Wee Booties, which give you extra health. Or wee Booties, I like that name. And we can use the Bootlegger, which is like the Pirate Leg. Um... So, okay, so I've started rambling already, that's a good, good sign, good sign. And basically, it's Sunday night, so obviously not the sharpest commentary mood, but I will soldier on, or demo on, as they say, um, as, as best I can. So, what I was trying to describe before I got lost in translation, that is a film... Jesus Christ, should I even attempt this today? Probably not. Basically, I'm using the Sticky Bomb Launcher, the Kaber, and the... Alibaba's Wee Booties, which I said gives you extra health, with my friend Jester, and this was recorded with Jester at his house, because I go around to his at the weekends and we just bash games, one of them being Team Fortress 2, and we um, had the sole aim of just cabering, and he would kind of like heal me up and tag on and maybe get a few Ubersaws. He doesn't record, so he would don't have a point of view perspective, but I believe he did get two Ubersaw kills by flying through the air, which is pretty awesome. So the problem with the caber tactic is this. Well, health, I don't think, is a problem. While you do take damage, it's a very suicidal tactic. If you have a quick fix medic, you can be buffed up to 250 health. Health. Did I say health? Jesus Christ, Manchester accent coming in. Um, <laughs> believe me, I never say health, okay? It's health. I don't know why I even said that. Basically, on fall damage, you go down to around 230 health with a H. Yep, and um, so you, you're around 230 health, and then um, I forgot how long the caber takes, to, how much damage the caber takes off you when you like hit someone with it, doesn't really matter, all I know is that it takes you down pretty low, so the quick fix medic is a good option, and why quick fix, well, as you know the quick fix has a stat where if you do an explosive jump with it, the medic will get flown along with you, and this is for fun reasons, and maybe if you want to transport around fast and stuff so sometimes you'll see him uh, fly right next to me he's the medic with the green hat on sometimes we can't link up because you know deaths and respawn times and we get separated oh, we get separated i just i can't take it and um yeah so also there's going to be like some little sound bites coming up and that's going to be a running theme As you can see, that was my first death, so I'm gonna have to like pause my speaking when those little sound comes come, little sound clips come up. So I have to pause. Yep. Yeah. And I was just off that health pack shy, but you know I was shy of that health pack, should I say? And I was, you know, gonna get it, but I didn't. And I believe I was on a four kill streak, so I was doing pretty well. And look at that spy. That was me right there, letting him walk past. I was so consumed with Kaber and. Mini Century obviously spoils the day. Probably the most annoying thing in Team Fortress 2 is the Mini Century. I'm trying to think of another annoying thing, but I'm just going to leave it with the Mini Century. I hate the Huntsman. I just think that the hitbox is a bit ridiculous, really. But it is an arrow, so you get hit by it, you are going to die. This is a video game, though, so not really real things. But wow. Carry on with the commentary. So, this, I like I said at the start, this was going to be explaining why the these joke loadouts are in Team Fortress 2. Now, Team Fortress 2 is quite like a, a fun game. Comedy is part of the reason why a lot of people play it, and a lot of people find it a fun game to play. And these weapons are good for messing about, but there is a sort of intention of them being useful. So, some other joke weapons. Let's think of other joke weapons. To be honest, I'm thinking of them now, and I can't actually think of them. Let's say the Holiday Punch, because I've just thought of that. The Holiday Punch, okay, with crit, it can taunt the enemy and disable them for quite a long time. Now, this is a very useful tactic, and there's actually a joke combo, which is the Medic and the Heavy with the Holiday Punch. Now, what you do is you use the Crit Squeak with the Medic, get your Holiday Punches out, activate crits, 
sorry, I had to burp there, and um, you have to activate crits, and then you have to um, hit them with the gloves, and because it's a crit, it'll give you the, the feature of the, the laugh taunt, so it'll disable them. Then the medic hits them with the uber sword, gets full uber again, the onslaught continues, so that's another joke like that. So I have seen that work, and another one is chain medic. A lot of them include medic, I'll give you that, because... Some of them include very risky tactics, and a medic is always useful because it kind of backs you up. That he's kind of like your fail-safe if things go wrong, he will heal you up. And and he will heal you, heal you up, and. Just make sure that you don't die too fast. Now, that pyro right there, I was very surprised at him. He either did that with luck, he was either... This is a good dispenser pick right here. Dispenser pick, push up. And um, he air blasted my sticky when I was shooting down, and that obviously stopped me from jumping away. I'm not sure whether he intended that, but that's what he did, and that caused me to die. So, these joke loadouts now. These are all three games that we've played. We've played three games, and we won three games. Now... I don't know what that was, maybe it was because we had good teams, maybe it was because it, we was just lucky, or maybe it's because the tactic worked. Now, obviously this tactic isn't used in competitive, and obviously it's not the best loadout, and we all know that, okay? We all know that it's not the best loadout, but there is kind of advanced tactics or ad advanced advantages, advanced advantages, wow, what a poor selection of words. There is advantages to this, so, for example, if I use the sticky jumper and the detonate... God, I'm... Bleh. Right, get your words straight, and if you use the sticky jumper and you jump above them and you get a few caber kills, people, you start noticing that people are noticing that you are there. So, people will start looking up, being more cautious, looking behind them, because they, they're getting paranoid now, so that's an advantage, it's kind of slowing them down, it may be a bit, but it is slowing them down, you might not get as, as much work, med medic pick coming right up, you might not get as much work as you would have done with a normal demo, but another advan- Another advantage is how fun it is to use, now, I find my go-to fun set is either Trollger, but I find it quite stressful sometimes, especially when people are trying really hard on Hightower. What is it with Hightower recently? People have been trying so damn hard on Hightower, it used to be such a fun map to play, and now it's, I think maybe the introduction of Helltower, maybe, you know what, fuck it, I'm just going to talk over this, um, the introduction of Helltower has kind of made it, um, And um, the introduction of Hell Tower has just maybe forced people to play the objective more on High Tower, which probably isn't a bad thing. You know, if someone has always been craving to play High Tower seriously, then dream come true. Congratulations, you've now got a less fun High Tower. But people have just been going like mini sentry and try hard scout, like they're in a six v six match. Like, just chill out, guys. Just please chill out. And this one here, I surprised the soldier waited for me. I mean. <laughs> oh god, sorry, god, it's making my mascara run, right, okay, get a grip of yourself, it's just a, just a demo, so, yeah, as you can see, I'm very, um, I'm very weird on a Sunday, for some reason, maybe it's because I'm nervous about, this is a bit of deja vu here, I trap him in a corner, and then, bit of a rewind right there and then land back down, trap the pyro in that corner, so maybe if you do want to do this tactic, I, I recommend bad water, I quite like it, the sky boxes can be a bit dodgy at times, but you've got the wee booties on so you can like strafe around a bit. Wow, I thought I was going to burp and then my body was just like, nah, you're not burping. So, um, yeah, apologies for the very lazy and like shambolic commentary, but you know, sometimes I can't be bothered being that professional guy that just is always right about everything and just gets everything right and just edits everything. But I have just portrayed myself as a dick and I will carry on being a dick and sucking dick at commentating and 
I was going to go for the deja vu moment and then I land on the thing. I was going to strafe into that medic, but I got the... Nope, didn't get the sniper. I thought I got the sniper right there, but... Nope, didn't get the demo. Now, my melee swing is absolutely terrible. You would think it was better after, you know, playing Spy, which, you know, you have to kind of get your backstab straight, but I've been suffering with backstabs recently. I, I really don't know why, but check this 360 spin. So that was the end of the game, and... Apologies for the bad commentary, but that was just like a fun tactic, and if you have any go-to fun sets and you want me to do like a commentary over them, then please put them in, maybe requiring two people maximum, and um, maybe I'll prepare a little montage for you. It'd be very good. Have a nice day, guys.